Good evening, Houston. Good evening, Houston. Good evening, Harris County. This is Sean Lacey, a.k.a. Ms. Officer, and I am here. It is 6 p.m. Well, it is exactly 6.01 p.m. in Houston, Texas, on this Tuesday afternoon, April the 25th, 2023. And I pray that you all have seen the information posted about the shocking truth about deferred and straight probation. And don't make this mistake. I hope you all have seen it because I'm getting ready to give y'all some gems. So I pray you all are tuning in. After I'm done, I'm going to give you all an opportunity to um, ask a few questions. So um, I know StreamYard has it set up so that you can say, great, great, great evening. Great evening. I appreciate that. Great evening, Ms. Lacey. Um, so if you all have any questions, just do what StreamYard said that you all need to do so you all can join in on this masterclass. And it will not be long, but it's going to be impactful. So let's get started. We are working with this first um, slide, and which is the introduction, the shocking truth about deferred and straight probation. Don't make this mistake, Houston. Let's go. This is our table of contents. We're going to go through introduction. We're going then we're going to go to what is deferred adjudication probation, then what is straight probation. Then what is the consequences of probation failure, probation requirements, the shocking truth about probation failure. We're going to have a question and answer session, conclusion, and then I'm going to provide my contact information for you all. So you can get in touch with me after this is completed if you have more questions. All right, let's go. Introduction. I am, again, Sean Lacey, a.k.a. Ms. Officer, and this, again, is the shocking truth about deferred and straight probation. Don't make this mistake. It is extremely important to successfully complete all your requirements of deferred adjudication probation or straight probation, whichever one you're issued. Probation is a common sentence given by the court as an alternative to jail time. But it is also important to understand the requirements and consequences of probation to avoid making mistakes that could lead to serious consequences. B, the importance of successfully completing your probation. Successfully completion of probation is essential for you to avoid the harsh penalties that can result from probation failure. Probation is a privilege. I need y'all to hear this because a lot of people don't think it is, but probation is a privilege. It is not a right. And it is your responsibility to make sure that you meet all the requirements to avoid any penalties that could negatively impact your life. C, purpose of this class. The purpose of this class is to educate each one of you all listening, and hopefully you all will share this eventually, on the importance of successfully completing your probation and to provide you with information you are going to need to avoid making mistakes that can result in other penalties for failure. This class will cover a few definitions of deferred adjudication probation as well as straight probation, the requirements and the requirements of probation and the consequences of probation failure or probation violation. First, okay, let's let's keep it pushing. What is deferred adjudication probation? The definition of deferred adjudication probation is a type of probation where you are given probation as a, as a sentence instead of jail time. 
but the guilt is not yet determined. You must complete the requirements of your probation to success. And once you successfully do so, your charges become eligible to be dismissed. Okay. The process, the process of the deter- of the process of deferred adjudication probation begins with you pleading guilty or no contest to a crime. You're then given probation as a sentence instead of jail time. During the probationary period, you must meet all the requirements set forth by the court, such as completing community service, paying fines, or attending classes. If you successfully complete your probationary period, your charges will be dismissed and you will be able at a later time to apply to have them expunged through an order of um, non-disclosure. C, differences between deferred adjudication and straight probation. The main difference between deferred adjudication probation is that deferred adjudication is a type of probation type of probation where your guilt is not yet determined while straight probation is a type of probation where your guilt has been determined and deferred adjudication your charges will be dismissed if you successfully complete probation whilst in straight probation your sentence has already been determined and you must complete proba- probation to avoid additional penalties. So what it's saying right there is that deferred, you have not been deemed as guilty. Straight, you already been sentenced as guilty. Okay. Let's go. Now, what is straight probation? Straight probation is a type of probation where you have already been convicted of a crime and you must complete probation as part of the sentence. You have been found guilty. Well, your guilt has already been determined and you must complete probation to avoid any additional charges or penalties. The process. The process of straight probation begins with you being convicted of a crime, excuse me, put this down. Excuse me. Straight probation begins with you being convicted of a crime. Then you are given probation as a part of your sentence, and you must meet all the requirements set forth by the court. During any probationary period, you must meet all the requirements set by the court, such as completing community service, paying fines, or attending classes. If you fail to meet any of these requirements, you may face additional penalties, such as jail time. Now, the differences between straight probation and deferred adjudication probation. Again, the main difference between straight probation and deferred adjudication probation is that straight probation is a type of probation where your guilt has already been determined, while deferred adjudication is a type of probation where your guilt has not yet been determined. In straight probation, you or your sentence has already been determined. And the straight probation, whatever your sentence, the straight probation becomes a part of that sentence. With this, you must complete probation to avoid any additional penalties. While deferred adjudication probation, your the individual or your charges will be dismissed if you successfully complete the probation. Again, you still have to file petitions in court to have this removed off your record once you complete a successful deferred 
Okay, deferred adjudication probation. Consequences of probation failure. Overview. Probation failure can result in a range of serious penalties, including fines, jail time, and additional probation requirements. It is important to understand the consequences of probation failure to avoid making mistakes that could negatively impact your life. Examples of penalties. Okay, the penalties for probation failure, for failing to, to complete your probation, can include the, fi the following. Failure to pay fines. If you fail to pay fines as required, you may face additional fines or you could even face jail time. Failure to complete community service. If you fail to complete your community service as required, you may be fined or sentenced to additional community service hours. Failure to attend classes. If you fail to attend classes as required, you may be fined or sentenced to additional classes. Failing or failing a drug test. If you fail a drug test, you may be sentenced to additional probation and most possibly you'll be sentenced to jail time. Okay. Moving on, you all. Probation requirements. All right. Overview of the requirements. The requirements of probation vary depending on the individual's case and the specific requirements set forth by the court. It is important to understand the requirements of probation to avoid making mistakes that could result in penalties such as jail time. What is expected of you while on probation? While on probation, you are expected to meet all not some, not part, not half. I want you all to hear this, please. You are expected to meet all the requirements set forth, by, set forth by the court, such as completing your community service, paying your fines, attending all your classes, and avoiding all criminal activity. It is important to understand that these requirements, these requirements, are those that's necessary no are those necessary steps to meet and to avoid future proba probation failure okay or to avoid future and present probation failure c how how you can ensure you meet the requirements while on probation you can ensure that you meet the requirements by regularly, listen, listen, by regularly checking in with your probation officer. Follow the conditions set forth by the court and keep a track of your progress. Don't wait for a probation officer to tell you what you're missing or what you have not completed. It is up to you. It is required by you to make sure that you're meeting all of your probation requirements. Okay, it is important, again, to take the responsibility of meeting all of your requirements while on probation to ensure you taking the steps for successfully completing the process. D, why is it your responsibility to ensure, to ensure you meet the requirements? It is your responsibility to ensure you meet the requirements of probation because probation is a privilege. It is not a right. You have been given probation as an alternative to jail time. And it is your responsibility to make sure you meet the requirements to avoid penalties that could cause negative impact 
on your life in the future, such as an offense becoming enhanced because you failed to meet the probations of the original offense. All right, let's move on. The shocking truth about probation failure. The shocking truth about probation failure is that there are severe consequences, especially in Texas, definitely in Harris County, the third largest jail system in the entire United States. The shocking truth about probation failure is that there are severe consequences that can result from neglecting each requirement of your probation. Probation failure can result in fines, jail time, and other penalties that can negatively impact your life for a long, long time, if not forever. The consequences of probation failure. The consequences of probation failure can include, again, fines, jail time, and additional, additional probation requirements, among other things. The penalties for probation failure can be severe and long-lasting, making it important to understand the requirements of probation and take steps to avoid failure. The reality of probation failure. The reality of probation failure is that, you, that it can have a significant impact on your life, including financial consequences, loss of freedom, and damage to your reputation. Probation failure can also result in additional penalties, making it even more difficult for you to, reg to regain control of your life. One of the things, and I'm going to stop just a second and say that I've seen working with this justice system for nearly the past, right at 30 years, is that the impact on not completing or unsatisfactor unsatisfactorily completing your probation, it, 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 it stops people dead in their tracks. Like these consequences, or the reality of probation failure, until you have had this to, uh, to happen to you, I'm talking about all the way from the inability to get a license, the inability to get a permit, the inability to get your own apartment, the inability to get your own vehicle, the inability to use your name for anything because now your name has been associated because it's yours with this probation failure. It is extremely important. And I mean, I'm at the point where I'm almost at the point of wanting to beg to ask you all to do not fail probation. If you are placed on any probation, be it deferred or straight, complete your probation and be extremely proactive with your probation officers. Talk to them, ask them, what do you need to complete? Ask them, are you, did you fall short on anything? Because once they sign off on your paperwork, that's it. If they sign off on your paperwork that you did not complete it, then that's a sentence. That's a sentence all by itself. You can be walking around, walking around, walking around physically free. But when you start doing, trying to live like a physically free person, you'll find out you're, you're walking around in a jail of bondage. So I'm asking you all, please, whatever you do, successfully complete your probation and talk to your probation officers. They're human beings, too. Sometimes they do not do things that you all would expect them to do. When I say do things, maybe they forget to add that you completed a class or maybe they may forget to to. Have you to take the drug test on the right day. If they told you at your prior meeting that you need to take, do these things or complete these things, then you tell them, what is it? Are you asking, what is it again that you said I needed to complete? Be proactive about your probation in Harris County.
Be pro- proactive. Don't wait for anyone to give you instructions. Once the court has given you the ability to have either deferred adjudication or straight probation, at that point, it's up to you to be 100% proactive, even though you will be assigned a probation officer. But it's up to you to be 100% proactive in the matter. Okay, um, going to move on to D, how probation failure can ruin your life. Um, again, it can ruin your life in a number of ways. There are financial consequences. There are loss of freedom if you end up going back to jail or being um, arrested. Uh, again, damage to your reputation. If you are fined, you may struggle to pay your bills and support you and your family. If you are sentenced to jail time, then you may lose your job and face other challenges upon your release. Probation failure can also result in additional penalties, making it even more difficult to regain control of your life. And I am basically almost complete or finished, but I will go on to questions and answers. And we have about two, let's see, three more, two more slides and we will be finished, you all. Questions and answers, questions and answers about probation. Um, this right here is just some of the concepts or some of the thoughts that people have about what probation is here in Harris County. Okay. Um, if you have any questions and answers, if you'd like to post them, you know, I can address some of the misconceptions, um, some of your conceptions, some of your misconceptions, some of your thoughts and things of that nature. Okay. Um, in, in A, B, or C, um, anything that you'd like to ask about, even how to avoid making mistakes while you're on probation. Okay. And if you don't want to ask here, because I know this is a public forum, if you don't want to ask here, you can always ask um, by contacting me. And that, that will be the last slide, my contact slide. Key points. Again, in the conclusion, you can always go back and you can see for yourself what the difference is between Deferred adjudication probation. Remember, with deferred adjudication probation, you have not been deemed as guilty. All right. But with straight probation, you've already been found guilty. And the straight probation is just one of the conditions of you not going to jail. Okay. Um, uh, the definitions are in here. And the difference between the two are in here, and I told you all already why it's necessary to make sure you successfully complete your probation. I've addressed why it's, it's um, important important for you to have dialogue with your probation officer um, and how necessary it is just to ensure that you complete this process successfully. And. My final thoughts are, this is up to you. This is up to you. Again, probation, and I know it does not feel like it because I know individuals can be on probation for a long time, but probation is a gift. It's, it's not a right. It's basically a gift to keep you out of jail, to keep you from getting excessive, uh, well, other penalties, um, other fines, other things. And when you have certain probations, if you fail to meet those, these probations, you can go to jail for the original sentence. So keep that in mind. Probation keeps you out of jail. But he, some, one of the things that a judge can do is send you to jail on the original sentence. 
So I have to always say before I get ready to end um, that this is for educational purposes. I'm not telling you all what to do. Um, this is not me giving you all legal advice, but this is me telling you all what I have seen, um, knowledge that I've gained, and now I'm bringing it back to you all. I'm going to move on to how to get in touch with me. Here's my contact information. My phone number, 832-537-4432. My email address, is officer 1 at gmail.com. And my website, Ms. Officer, M-Z-O-F-F-I-C-E-R.com. And erase your record, E-R-A-S-E-Y-O-R-E-C-O-R-D. All right, Houston, that's how you get in touch with me. and. I must say that this class has been sponsored and um, supported by Ciaspa, excuse me, Ciaspa.com, C-A-S-P-A-A.com, Crime and Self-Protection Awareness Advisors. If you need to get safety equipment, um, classes, things of that nature, that's who you need to get in touch with. And that's it for me, Houston. I love you all. It's no city like our city. Together we can make this the best city ever, which it already is. But we can keep ourselves on the map and keep people wanting to come here. I know the traffic can get bad sometimes, but it is still no city like our city. So with that, Houston, this is Sean Lacey, a.k.a. Ms. Officer, signing out. I love you, Houston. Bye-bye.